You're very generous, Don. I gotta say that, bro. Because the you should be you should be raging at this guy. Yeah, for me, I think. I'm yeah, pissed. I know, bro. But you're giving him more time. I just think the guys. I've, I've said it for a long time. I think he's well overrated. This manager. I think he's proper, proper overrated. I think you're starting to see that 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 he's he's not all that everyone thinks he is. Yeah. The tenth well, he's good and, with the youth, LB. He's good with the youth. Yeah, they told us again, again. Kunlado, what is this? Good with the youth. What? What? Do you get trophies for this? This is a joke, man. Chelsea are tenth, tenth. Do, 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 why is no what that should be riots in the street, man? <laughs> spent a billion quid. I don't know if they've had a few injuries and in that. Like fair play, but we've all had injuries, man. All our teams on this panel have had injuries, and they're tenth. I'm, I'm still hearing some Chelsea fans. I know Don's close, but like back in this guy, it's a joke. I don't know what Chelsea used to be the most ruthless football club in this country. They did, didn't they? Under Roman, they used to be the most ruthless football. If you don't even win the league, you could finish second. Yeah, you're gone. Sin a bit, pal. And now the tenth. I don't know what has happened to some of these Chelsea fans, man. You, you guys used to be a different breed, yeah. And now you've all just mellowed, man. You're nah, the most, most of the fan base want him out, bro. Most of the fan base want him out, and no. I don't blame them. There's, yeah, there's but that's only like hasn't... recently, last couple of weeks, bro. I remember nah, a month no. ago. Nah, mm. bro, I, we was we did a show even like maybe mm. what four weeks ago, and I said Chelsea in crisis. You were sitting there saying no, they weren't, and I said yeah, they were. They were doing tenth. So you've only mm. just started to come talking about this attractive thing as well. projects and all that, Don. You're yeah, but the, me the, 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 projects, the, re, the, re, the reason why yeah, is because, like I said, look, right now, obviously, I'm not going to be one of these guys that say, "Oh, who's who's around? Like, why can't we get rid of this guy?" Yeah, because end of the day, if he's not good enough, he's got to go. We got to think of that after, right? Or be proactive right now and think of who you can bring in. But for me, like I've said, I, I still can't ignore the amount of injuries that we've had in total, right? And I'm not using that as an excuse because I haven't used it once. All I'm saying is, there's a lot of players that this guy's been missing, right? And I would like for them to be fit at some point so he can start to use them and stop using that as an excuse. Because I know right now they're not going to sack him. But there's certain and games and there's certain done. opponents that you can't be losing to. That's why I think for me, I think for me it's unacceptable. I said the other, um, when we played, before we played, hold on, Roms, yeah? Before we played Sheffield, I said, um, LB, I literally said, if we lose to Sheffield at home, for me, he has to get sacked. And that was that was when I was on strike one. I was about to skip some, some, some strikes for this guy. Do you know what I'm saying? Middlesbrough, bro. If he loses that game, he has to go. I don't care about injuries under that shit. He has to go for me. Do you get it? And this weekend, I'm watching close then, bro. I'm watching Tell it, just before you go, go, just before you go, there's a mm. there's a saying, right? Definition of insanity. Keep doing the same thing and expect to get Facts. different results. The fact he continually continually plays players out of position, which you've said many times on his show, isn't that enough for you? That he's not even learning his own lesson. At least, look, I know you've had a lot of injuries, as we all have, but at least another manager... Would you like to think that it's least play plays in their position? Isn't that enough in itself? That's a sackable mm -hmm. offense in itself that he yeah, keeps Rob, playing plays out of position I, and then not playing well. I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah. But the thing is, even the other day, people were complaining about Matson or why didn't you start Matson? Matson was literally on the verge of joining Dortmund. Right now, yeah, Ben Chilwell was back in training, but he's not fit. Cucurella's injured. So the only left back, left back that we have really is either you play Gusto there or you play Levi there. Do you get it? We literally. Or you go to the youth team players. That's what is. That's what you've got to do. And how many managers yeah, go and do that? No uh, yeah. How, how how many managers uh, go and do that? Do you know what I mean? So I have to look at that. I can't ignore that. I don't want to see yeah. Levi there. What I've said right now, yeah, is if we don't sign a left back in January, we are in serious, serious trouble because Levi Cole will play in there, bro. It's a serious hazard. Serious, serious and hazard. Look, 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 look. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One second, one second, Rose. Maybe back, change the formation so Levi doesn't have to play there. One second. Carry on, carry on, carry on. I was saying maybe there. Oh, go, go on, Kenny. Go on, Kenny. Now, this, this Chelsea thing is just it's crazy. Like, when I think of Chelsea, I think Wahala everywhere. And this Wahala did not start last night or a couple of nights ago. It started at the start of the season when Chelsea fans became Explanation FC. Everything the club did, they had the explanation explain, 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 explain. They had all sorts of explanations for us saying, wait, we, we don't need to do the rebuild like other teams. We can speed it up, spending a billion and all this, and Poch is good with the youth, and when then Cuckoo comes back, boy, he's like, a, he, he came in and, and left just like, so super fast. So, look, the reality is Chelsea are rubbish, and the fans just need to understand that they are rubbish. Mm -hmm. Whether they replace the change the manager right now, it's not going to change. Like, at best, you'll finish, what, eighth, seventh? Like, it's still a mess right now. Like, the problems are just consistent. They've created a situation where no matter who comes in, they're going to have wahala. That's it. 
That's the reality of it. And at one point, these Chelsea fans need to understand we got to sit tight and endure the pain and suffering for a duration of time before we come out smooth. And that's the reality of it. And I'm not, I'm, hold on, hold on. I'm not saying you have to do it with Poch. I'm not saying Poch is the guy you bear through the pain and suffering yeah. with, but you lot got to make a decision with somebody because it's going to keep recycling itself over and over again. And, they'll, and you'll be getting auto glass back as your sponsor. It's long. So Kunle, just, let me, just write let it me, out. Let, 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 me just say, let, me, let me just say something. Let me, let me ask you a question then, yeah? Let me ask you a question. When Arteta plays Kivio at left back, what, what do you think of that? What do you think of that when he plays Kivio at left back? It's a stupid decision. And what happens every time he plays Kivio at left back? Well, he gets cooked. So then so then, how could you come out, come out here and start talking about our team as if every single player has been played? Bro, what does Arteta have league? to do with what with Chelsea? Because I don't understand. The point that I'm making is that your manager has played someone out of position multiple times uh -huh. and your fan base don't like it. But he's but not 10th, my brother. Order, brother. He's order, not in 10th order. place. That is the issue here. But, but he's, he's not losing he's to not Middlesbrough with 13 oh, injuries. Oh, Bro, there's, there's a big difference now. Uh -uh. 14, 14, 14. 14 injuries. Sorry, I stand corrected. The point, you're missing the point that I'm making because you just want to just get on this. Please. And okay, what is the point? Please, let us educate us. I'm like saying every chaos. single time your manager has played Kivio out of position, right? Especially in this running, one one win in seven games, he has not looked good. Like you just said, he's been getting cooked there. Now, my manager's been doing that with multiple players, bro. Multiple players. So how do you expect them to, to play well, bro, when they're being constantly played out of position? And we're not talking about seasoned pros, yeah, that have been playing together for years. We're talking about a young team that you kept banging on about in the summer saying they're young, you need experience. We all agreed with that, right? But right now you've got a young team and you're overcomplicating things for them. So how do you expect them to, to play well together, bro? It doesn't make any sense to me. And I said this at the beginning of the season. I'm not isn't surprised. That the, but but isn't not that the point? Me. Isn't that the point that everyone's saying? You used to be ruthless. A manager making this amount of mistakes should be cut and you shouldn't be making the excuses for him. Because it's an excuse. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not making, it's an excuse, it's an I'm excuse, not excuse to go, oh, I want to see what Potts can do when he stops making mistakes. No, 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 no. I didn't say well, that. I'm not going to talk said, about injuries, but I'm going to talk about injuries. No, no, no. What I said is, what I said is, I want, I want more people to come back from injury, so this guy can stop running to that excuse, yeah? Even with these with, with these guys um, when they've been out, like I've been saying, our team, we've got one game a week. We've had more than enough. Even with these players, he still hasn't been doing enough. But he keeps running to that excuse. And I know they're not going to sack him right now, bro. I know that. But like I said, losing to Middlesbrough and losing to, to Man United is unacceptable, bro. Unacceptable. Can I, can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? Ask a question? Ask a question? Let, me throw you, let me throw you this question. Are the likes of Enzo? Mo, Mo, Mo just keeps doing this, but he's, he's, he's capping. He's capping. But anyway, carry on, Terry. Carry on, Terry. He's Are not capping. We have the receipts. <laughs> Someone sent me a receipt. I'll play it. Um, play it, bro. Are Enzo and Caicedo good enough? Is, yeah, is it a case? Because what I'm hearing a lot of, and I understand it, pot problems, pot problems. Is there a possibility that some of these young, talented players that we all, by the way, were like, wow, what a sign-in, is there a possibility that they are just not good enough? Yes, 100%. Nah, 100%. No, 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 no. Let, 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 me, let me tell you. No, Don, you are factually incorrect there. I'll tell you why you're incorrect. Yeah? Because football, this that's not how football works. You don't just buy all the all the young 20-year-olds, 21-year-olds, and then watch them develop, develop, develop. Some of them won't turn out to be good footballers. That's not how football works. Otherwise, everyone would just do that. Football, all the managers would have just kept, carried on doing that. Why do managers buy the best player? Why do managers buy better players who are a bit more experienced? Because that's what you need. You can't just go and buy the best young players. This guy, Saido guy, yeah, played 18 months in the Premier League. There is no guarantee that he will turn out to be a world-class player. And when you're spending 100 million quid plus, he needs to be a world-class player. Now, Enzo, I think Enzo's a great footballer. I think he needs to be in a great system. I think you put Enzo in, like, like the, the Argentina team, for example, great player. I think you put him in the City team, great player. If you throw him into Chelsea, I don't think you're seeing the best of him. I think maybe you, you, you're getting an OK, but I still think there's major levels there. You know, it's, it's the same with a lot of these players. There is absolutely no guarantee that these players that you've shelled out loads of money for are going to turn out to be good players. Otherwise, everyone would have just done that in the history of time. Everyone, instead of signing the, the more experienced player, why don't you just go and sign a young 20-year-old? They don't do that because it doesn't work. Sometimes you'll get flops. So, I, I, I don't think so. Yeah, Lewis, yeah. I, I get what you're saying, LB, yeah. But for me, like I said, this, this season, Enzo Fernandez has been playing as a 10. I've been seeing Enzo Fernandez overlapping that left wing. How can Graham Potter and Frank Lampard use Enzo Fernandez better than this guy that's supposed to have a lot more experience? Enzo came in last year in January and was our best player. It wasn't even a debate. Yeah, I was seeing Enzo balling last season, bro. 
this year he's come in, he's being misprofiled, he's not being used correctly. Do you know what I mean? Mm. He hasn't been used correctly. And I'm not saying that Enzo, you know... Was it, Enzo it, balling though last oh, season, Don? Was he? Yes, was yes he, he was. If you, watched, if, you watched, if you watched our games, you would see that he was our best player. Yeah, it was comfortable. To yeah, see but that's not difficult. Player, you finished right? 12th, bro, so that... Yeah, but is, is Enzo is Enzo supposed to score, <laughs> defend? No, I'm just saying, the, like, what was so good that Enzo was, did for you like, when he came in? That's what I'm trying to you, figure out. You, you, should, you should have watched our games. He was progressing us from A to B. I was, I was watching, but I just didn't see what you saw. Okay, that's 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 fine. But there's a million and one Chelsea fans and rivals that will tell you Enzo was bullied last season. So you can try cooking as much as you want. Please, please chat, yeah. chat. Let us know. Let us know. Let us know. And the stats don't even lie. If you go check his progressive stats from last season in comparison to this year they've dropped like what what Poch has done this year is the equivalent of using Tony Cruz in a tent you would never use Cruz in a tent so why are using Enzo in a tent majority of the season bro it doesn't make sense you know what I mean he hasn't been used correctly yeah and Caicedo bro recently he's I've been I've been seeing the Caicedo that I've been seeing at Brighton even though he's been he's been playing as a lone six pretty much do you know what I'm saying so for me yeah Mo can keep saying balling this this that Enzo Fernandez is a team game he done his job last year and you had a bunch of clowns that came. No, don't, don't. This is where this is where I'll come. This is where I'll chime in and back you at. With with Enzo, yeah, they finished top. But I saw plays like Havertz, I saw plays like Abamyang, saw plays like Mason Mount, where they were robbing him. I saw Enzo create chances for these players and they couldn't finish their dinner. But obviously, no one's gonna if they can't finish their dinner, Enzo's not gonna get the credit for that. So to be right. fair to them, yeah, Chelsea were poor overall last season. We all know that, but Enzo did have the better performances. This I must say, I think he's a bit disingenuous, but because this quality. This season, you can't defend him. You can't. Defend him. I agree. I agree. Like I said, he's been he's been average this season. But I can't ignore the fact that our managers got this guy running around as if he's flipping Gallagher, and he's not that. <laughs> he's trying to go. He's trying to. What? He's trying to. He's trying to get our team to play like Liverpool, and we've got technical players. Right. What, that what about minded. what about What about Caicedo? I mean, he hasn't been great. The goal against. Uh, Middlesbrough was a huge component was down to him not staying with his runner. Do you feel like you've had enough out of that 100 plus million pound player? Mm. We haven't seen the 100 million yet. We haven't had the value for money yet, but I think people will overdo it with this Caicedo thing. Like he's been, he's been poor the whole season. He really hasn't. He had a poor start to the season and he slowly started to pick it up. And especially in the last, I'll probably say month and a bit, I've been seeing the, the Caicedo that I was seeing at Brighton. I'll be real with you. And like I said to you, Terry, Right now, the way our setup is in the midfield, every single person is far from this guy. He picks up the ball, he looks up, you've got Enzo Fernandez over there, you've got Gallagher over there, you've got Cole Palmer yeah, over there. Okay, I'm whereas, as at Brighton, as you. Was, whereas at Brighton, he always had someone close to him. Do you know what I'm saying? So when people when people talk about Caicedo, even the other day against Luton, yeah, who got that 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 pre-assist for, for Cole? You're not watching the games if you think Caicedo's been poor recently. You're really not. You're really not because he's picked it up. But I'll, I'll be real. I'll be real. We haven't seen the 150 million that we paid for, but he hasn't been as bad as what people are saying. What were you saying, Kate? That, that you got a, you got a mum face on right now. You're on mute. You're on mute. You're on mute. mute. I just love that Agent Potch is doing the Lord's work and Chelsea is struggling. I could just drink Don's tears all day long. And what makes me crease even more is that Don, I love you to bits, but you defend every player like they're so good. Well, why are you so crap then? I don't understand. Thank I'm not defending Kate. Where, so where did I say talk where on it, no, 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 Kate? Please. Hey, 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 this is the thing. No, don't interrupt her, Kate. Continue. Kate, continue sorry. No, 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 because I have to, I have to come, I have to come in here for a sec, Kate. I'll let you land. Yeah. People need to literally comprehend what I'm saying. I'm not saying Caicedo has been a 115 million player. Comprende. All I'm saying is he hasn't, he hasn't been as bad as what people are making him out to be. I'm seeing on Sky Sports the other day he's underperforming and all of these things, bro. Have you been watching our games recently, bro? Or majority of the season, Caicedo but, started off but, poorly. Yes, Caicedo started off poorly. Yes, but if you watch our games, Caicedo is one of the few players that's been picking it up, especially the the past month and a bit. I'll be real with you. Right. But don't you also reckon Mudrick's been playing well this season, man? Like, what's, what are we doing here, bro? Like, what's going seen, on? We haven't, seen, we haven't seen 150 million worth of, of, of the money that we paid for, but people overdo it, is what I'm saying. People overdo it. But carry on, carry on. Price tags, your players are just, they're just shit at the moment. You can defend them all you like and say, we haven't seen this amount of money. You know, we haven't seen 115 million. Your team are just a shambles. But you'll come on here and you'll defend them and say they're brilliant and Enzo's a baller. No, he's not. And you're justifying that someone's good have, because they've got a pre assist. Since when is a pre assist? Do you know what it's well? Do you know what it's well? I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, whenever, I come here, whenever, I come on, whenever I come on here raving about these players, I'm confused. I'm confused. You know, you know what it's done? As, listen, your team every week, bro. Them. Every week. Yeah, every that's, week. That's, a lie. That's, that's a lie because you need to watch my fan cams. I've every single week, bro. I've been cooking these, man, pretty much. Do you know what? I've got a question for you, Don. Don, are you. 
are you the long lost child of Robert Kardashian? <laughs> because nah, you, bro, I just the people are capping. You, you could have got OJ off as well, bro. I'm telling you, you have bro, got nah, Johnny Cochran, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Cochran's son, son, bro. Johnny Cochran's <laughs> son, bro. No, no, no. Apparently, I'm yeah. saying Enzo's balling in this is that the first thing I said is the other day, these lot are treating the ball like a hot potato, but Kate's hearing something else. I don't understand. You lot no, are not him. So every time I come on him and people criticize him, you defend him every time. I Why can't agree with you? He's been under the season, we've overpaid, and he's not very good. But you don't because, you defend him don't... and you're trying to heal for him and it no, is isn't very good. And you just did the same thing with Kai Sado, bro. I'm not gonna be yeah, but I'm not gonna be gaslighted into you lot making me think that Enzo's a bad player when I've seen what he was doing last season when he was used it's, correctly. It's not like, gaslighting if it's true he's, though, he's, Don. That's why I, I don't understand that you're not, not getting this, bro. You, you can't trick what my eyes have been showing me with Enzo the time that he's been at Bro, Chelsea. our Enzo's eyes can see your tenth or so in the table. Our eyes do not lie yeah, about that, that one, Abby. Rom said, Rom's is a neutral. Rom's is a neutral. He literally just said to you, last season, this guy was balling out. This guy was balling out last season, yeah? This year, you've got you've got the guy running around in the tent. Would you ever use Tony Cruz in the tent? Would you ever use him in the tent? We've got our manager using him in the tent. I'm seeing tweets coming out from 2021 from PSG. Apparently, Poch was using Messi as a DM. I didn't even know this. Kimpembe as a right back. Yo, when did you sign Enzo again? It was, ja- it was January, innit? It was basically yeah, a year last ago. January. Last January, bro. We signed him in January. One like, thing I'll say, man. Yeah, he, bro, he, won the, he won the World Cup and he retired, bro. It's a madness. <laughs> <laughs> we, all, we all know in football day, you, the rest of the players around you could be poor. As a collective, you could be poor, but you can still stand out. And you should stand out even more if everyone around you drops. Like, I look at United, right? Terry would know. Their midfield is piss poor. But you see Kobe Minor going to that team. He looks levels above everyone else. And as mm-hmm. much as everyone in Brown is bored, you see his quality shines. And this is what your Cassidy, your Endo, Enzos need to start showing up because, yeah, everyone around you can be poor, but they need to raise the level. You're brought in for this money. It's time mm-hmm. to raise it. But Roms, your legend, your legend literally done a whole three minute monologue talking about, oh, this guy's going to be a world class player. The first game we played you lot, what was Enzo doing in that game? Huh? What did he do to Sabozla and these men? Did you get it when he was used correctly? Okay. And after that, you want to try and do it. Yeah, but I'm, I'm telling you what, what he can do when he's used correctly, Kate. The guy has not been used correctly majority of the season. You can't ignore these things. I'm sorry, you yeah, can't. But then, Don, Don, what I'm trying to say to you is he's not been used correctly, but then he has to take it upon himself to still do as much as he can. And I think mm. as neutrals, we would, as rivals, we'll still what, notice that. That's but guess what? Uh-huh. Guess what, Rob? The, the problem... That's what Palmer's doing, though. The problem with that, yeah? Hold on, yeah, hold on. The problem with that's what Palmer's doing. That's what Palmer's doing. No matter where you play him, he plays well, bro. No yeah, matter where you play him, he plays well, bro. Hold on. Yeah, but not every player is the same. That's first of all, yeah. And no, but we're just giving you an example in your own club of a player that's shining when your team are in 10th. Okay, that's what we're trying to do, though. Hold on. We, we, can, we can all acknowledge here that these lot are young. Hold on. We can all acknowledge here that these lot are young. Now, Roms, you're, you're saying, oh, yeah, Enzo should be able to basically step into any position and ball out the way he was balling out last season. But we've all said that they're young. And I've literally told you that these lot are young players. And they're all being played, well, majority of them are being played out of position. How do you expect to see the best out of Enzo when you're doing that with young players? It's not like you're playing Enzo in a position he's not familiar with in a Man City that already have a system yeah, that's one, being built. Do you know what I mean? It, 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 it's, is, it's hard, bro. It's not, it's not being easy yes, for these, these young players. The players around him are young and they might not be as good, but we, we'll still be able to tell if he's playing well himself. He would shine. The fact everyone around him is poor, this is my overarching point. He would shine through that. Mm-hmm. So you can't say it's not been easy for these players. Oh, come on, bro. No, Get the violins LB. out, chat. LB, violins LB. in the chat, man. No, come on. It's not been easy. LB, you can't, you can't, I'm sorry. You can't, you can't ignore these things, man. This manager's been putting out an imbalanced lineup, playing Enzo in the 10, like I've, like I've said. No, to you, I, I, mean, I agree. I agree, and, 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 and you want me to just ignore that? You just want no, me to ignore that? No, no, listen. This, here's where I'm at, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hold tight dropping on spotify next week no here's the thing don yeah okay so the manager the manager is is getting this horribly wrong and the manager in my opinion should be sacked he should have been sacked a long time ago in my opinion in fact i wouldn't even give him the job in the first place but these players also need to do more now you could argue it could it's on the manager to 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 get them but kunle's right you've got a play you've got player like palmer who's standing out in games you've got other players that, that are not really standing out so the players need to do more right that is absolutely fact but I guess for me, it does still come back to the manager because ultimately he's the one that, that has to take take the responsibility, bro. I would think you, yeah, you need to get back into your old Chelsea days, bro. I think you've let yourself slip. Your standards have dropped. And Don, you need to be like, well, like Glenn Hoddle days, and get him out, bro. Why are you waiting for <laughs> Middlesbrough? 
you you sitting there saying if he loses against Middlesbrough, I'm 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 potch out. Nah, bro, you should be potch out now. Perhaps they've gone back to the days before they had any money I'm, when Chelsea I'm, weren't I'm actually so, just bang average. I'm this I've close. I've been saying it I'm since, you, Kate. I'm I've so been close. saying it. So the next two to three so years, close. this is their this is their portion. When, when, man. We just got and when he does time. get sacked, when he does get sacked, no one can try and say Chelsea are impatient. Chelsea are this and that because everyone here can see what this guy's been doing this season. Yeah, so no one's gonna say that. We're just gonna laugh because you're gonna still be in a mess, bro. Can we speak on this owner, by the way? What's he doing? Hello. You, that is the biggest waste of football transfer money. Bro, he's waiting ever. for the draft, bro. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy.